Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're the Champon family and we made vlogs about our life in Ghana. Today we are having something different. We are also with somebody, um, well his name is not a Champong, but he's definitely family. And we're going to talk about how Ghana changed his life. And uh, yeah, here's Richard. Welcome Hello, to the everybody. channel, Richard. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> so nice to have you. So Richard is um, Kevin's auntie's son, the one you like so much, the one at the market, <laughs> and you are third born, right? I'm the second born of five. Second born. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So when did you move out of Ghana? How old were you? So I moved out of Ghana to the UK when I was around like I think 25 years old. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, you were the first one of your family, right? I mean to move out, yes. Yeah, for your siblings. Um, yes. Okay. Um, I think the motive was to obviously, um, it's, I'm not saying like greener pastures, but I wanted to school um, in the UK and obviously um, have something better and different from being back home in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. So, um, well, when I went there, I obviously went to a nursing school. Um, I finished my degree and then I became a psychiatric nurse. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you're living the Ghanaian dream, right? Because that's what everybody wants. They're talking about, ah, I went to Abrotre and you made it. <laughs> so that's it, right? You went to Abrotre and you made it. Because you, you, like, okay, on a day to day you work, but you really enjoy life, right? Like, how many countries have you been? Um, I haven't counted yet. <laughs> But however, I do travel a lot because I love, love traveling. Yeah. Um, I think, to me, I think it's just a stress relief, especially when I'm working, because mm -hmm. my work is really, really stressful. Yeah. So any time that I do get, I would like to be out from the UK okay. and then just have a good time. And when I'm back, I'm just working. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, living the dream, I would say God has been good and I've just been quite okay successful now mm -hmm. I'm at a place where I really do like the most mm -hmm. um, so yeah you're doing very well because how old are you now I'm 33 33 okay and you came to Ghana this is your first time since you've been back yes right? this is my first time since I left here Wow and you and surprised then... your sister hello hello seen each other how many years, Seven years. Seven years wow crazy. that is crazy yeah it's been quite a while now yeah wow. you're going yes. to, to surprise your mom yeah how do you think she will react she's gonna be shocked eventually obviously i didn't call her that i was coming and i didn't tell anyone that i was coming yeah um i just want to know their reaction yeah me yeah too. <laughs> i'm so psyched you know i can't wait for that but okay let's talk about when you left for UK, you have never been to UK before. Only no, in I Europe. had been. Oh, you had. Uh, yeah, I was oh, going okay. back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When I was um, in Ghana, mm -hmm. I was going back and forth to the UK oh, on the so holidays. You knew that so already. yeah, yeah, I knew the UK already. Okay. That's the reason why I wanted to move there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And your dad talks about that too, right? Yeah, because my dad, dad used, used to live to there. there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how was it for you, like a young boy, knowing that you are going to move to the UK? Were you like? gassing all your friends and eh, I'm gonna live in UK or how was it? I think it wasn't all gassed up because most of my friends lived abroad or most of okay. my friends were just traveling back and forth when we were younger mm -hmm. but the thing I wasn't really gassed up much because I was going back and forth on a holiday Already. when okay. I was in Ghana okay. so to move in is just like I'm still coming back to the UK mm -hmm. so it wasn't something like oh it's my first time or something that mm -hmm. I was really like I can't wait and all that mm -hmm. yeah but when I did, um, I think it was a great experience because obviously I'd never worked before. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, because I was young, I've never worked before. Mm -hmm. So my first job that I had was in the UK mm -hmm. and then I progressed from there and then I started schooling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you came, how did you, how did you go about? Like, did you live with family? Was there someone to help you? Because the system is like very different from Ghana. 
uh, when I went there, okay, so when I was going on a holiday, when I was um, in Ghana, back and forth, I was leaving at my, um, my grandmom's place, my late grandmom's place. Okay. He used to live in London. Okay. So that's where I was staying all the time. Okay. And then when I moved, um, I was there as well. Okay, okay. Yeah. So she helped you, taught you the roundabouts and how to go about with all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I got lost so many times because <laughs> everything was literally the same. Yeah. But I think um, as I was going on a visit all the time, I got used to it. Yeah. And then later on, when I decided to move, yeah. um, it was quite, it was okay because I knew the place already. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You moved when you were 25, right? Mm -hmm. So before you moved, you did secondary university. Right, yeah. All yeah. that you finished. You so, did your, yeah. um, how did national, how do you call that? I what? think you have to work for free in Ghana for a year. I never did it. Oh, you never did no, no, that? No, I never did it, no. Oh, okay, yeah. that's what so, mandatory. I mean, if you wanted to do it, I knew I, don't, I, was, um, I wasn't going to leave in Ghana. Oh, so there was okay. no point for me to have to stay a year and then do the national service. Yeah. So as soon as I, f I finished the university from here, mm -hmm. I went straight, I did my graduation, okay. and I went straight after my graduation to London. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then when you settled in London, and um, finally you got your own house, you went to university, so you have two degrees then. Yeah. One from Ghana and one yeah. from UK. Yeah. And now you're a mental health nurse. Yes. Okay. So you will not say you've made it, because in my eyes you've made it. And I think in a lot of, Ghanaian people's eyes like I think for, for you the way and your standard of living is normal because a lot of people around you live like that right but if you look at how you let's say if if me was your 17 year old self mm -hmm. with your 17 year old self Richard you made it um I think um I would have said to myself I'm comfortable mm -hmm. Or I've got to a place where even when I compare myself with my friends or yeah. most of my friends, even in the UK, mm -hmm. I think I've done quite a bit well for myself yeah. um, as compared to some of my friends. Some of yeah. my friends are doing very well as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I think God has been good to me literally. Yeah. Yeah, he's shy. You should yeah. see the car he's driving every day. When I text him, he's in another country. No. Hey, and he's building a house. Where's your house currently building at? Um, so this house is in, um, what's it called? Coco Bite. Okay. So where the beach is. Okay. Um, yeah. So you get in a beach house. Yeah. Can so, I get a key? Like I can come Of course, hundred percent. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what is your biggest lesson you've learned? moving out from Ghana what what has that experience brought you um, moving out from Ghana has um, I've got much more experience in being open-minded in general because mm. I feel like um, where I'm from in Ghana here obviously we are very close-minded and very judgmental but moving out I have, have an open space in terms of health wise I work because I'm a nurse um, I have to be open to so many diagnoses of any illnesses okay. and then the way of people's life as well okay. so um, people and I've got to know like people are different in in general mm -hmm. and then you have to accept people the way that they are mm -hmm. um, if I was still living in Ghana mm -hmm. and then I wasn't or hadn't had any exposure mm -hmm. I think I was still had been closed-minded okay. so that has really helped me okay yeah and then being I think what I feel like I have not regrets but I feel like I should have come to Ghana way earlier because now I feel like I feel like I'm a visitor, which I shouldn't be. You yeah, understand? And then sure. everything is all new to me, and then I keep asking questions like, "Where am I? What is this?" And then yeah. I'm like, "This is where I literally grew up." So yeah, yeah. yeah, but then and then I've seen the way of life in here, yeah. which I feel like it's pretty much amazing. Yeah. You understand? And then I was like, "Oh, okay, that's really cool." I think it's it's really good that you always come back home mm. and know what's going on and then you always go back yeah. yeah so yeah so if you settle down and you are having kids and all that would you want to live in ghana or live in uk my way of life um i would still want to live in the uk just because there's so many small things um in ghana that that takes time or that is like pro progress prolong things mm -hmm. and so like when you want this and everything the servicing mm -hmm. in general mm -hmm. you understand I mean would I want to come back to Ghana and leave for a bit yes I would mm -hmm. um, but to leave for good 
Mm. Not for now, okay. but maybe eventually. Maybe yeah, yeah. So the house you're building is mainly like a vacation or long stay home. Exactly. But your home is in UK. My home is in UK, okay. but eventually, obviously, I wouldn't like to go on pension in the UK. Mm. Of course you would not. You like to yeah. come in Ghana for exactly. Pension. Yeah. So I think you have the best of yeah. both worlds. Yeah. Oh, you've done so great. I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if you can give one um, advice for anybody watching who in Ghana who's thinking I want to move to UK too how do they go about that I mean I wouldn't have any answer in regards to how you go about that what I will say is whatever you put your mind into it and you work hard towards it wherever you are either Ghana either Zimbabwe either in the UK or in America you will be able to achieve it once mm. you work hard towards it mm. yeah oh. That's a very good advice. What do you miss most about Ghana when you're back home in the UK? Well, the food. The food? But you cook yeah. Ghanaian food very well. Yeah, but um, there's so many things that you don't get out of there. Okay. Um, and yeah. then it's not like properly... Because um, here you have their proper organic fruits, yeah. but we don't have it there. True, like the and fresh then, fufu. Right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But then you, you pretty much do have anything, but there's so many food that I really do miss mm. that I but I haven't even eaten since I've been out mm. but since I came in here yeah. I would like to eat African food every day every day oh yeah. you were just like me when we came okay so how do you feel being back because it has been nine it feels very amazing actually because looking at um, the houses it just amazes me they have new buildings new oh, really? apartments oh my god is I, I just feel like I'm in London. So, but yeah. Ghana changed a lot since you it left. It has really changed a lot, oh. yeah. I mean, not to say there was really nice houses before I left, but coming back, I've seen much more improvements, okay. yeah. Okay, so if there's one thing you could take out of UK and bring to Ghana, what would that be? Our customer service. Mm. Yes, okay. customer so that, service, that yeah. That is, yeah, customer service. Okay. That's just it, really, um, yeah. You're right, you're right. And what about one thing you take from Ghana back to UK? Um, from Ghana back to the UK? Um, I'm not, if I could take less stressful level, then yes. But obviously, that's not something someone can take. Mm. Right, yeah. Because I feel like um, we are pretty much more less stressed in here. True. Yeah, true. so... Life is yeah. more easy Easier, going. exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So, what, what is it like being without your family for so long because you I mean I don't with... really um, I haven't really seen much difference because I literally speak to them every day okay. on a video call now yeah. that there's FaceTime there's WhatsApp video and all that mm -hmm. but yeah it still doesn't feel the same mm -hmm. but I think it's very close to you feeling like you are with them you always are with them yeah always. So I see you're really enjoying nightlife here, eh? I love it. Guy, oh my god. <laughs> I've never slept since I've been in here. No. Because UK oh, no. is now oh. in tier four or something. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So everybody life is way better at the moment here, right? It's amazing in here. I don't wanna go back. <laughs> this is seriously, I really don't wanna go back. Wow. Yeah. So maybe you can stay until the lockdown is over. I mean, if they extend for me to stay, then I'm happy to stay. Oh. But if my flights have to take me back, yeah. then yeah. Mm, okay. So, what are places you definitely still want to visit? Because you've been to Bloom Bar, Sandbox, Twist, uh, Front Back, I don't, uh, I don't Polo know. Beach Club. Uh, yeah. And it's only been two days since you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then um, I really don't know what's out there. I feel like there's much more to do in Accra. There's so many places to do go in Accra yes. um, and there's so many like so I want to be everywhere literally <laughs> I want to ha have experience everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. yeah how long are you staying I'm staying for three weeks in okay. total okay. yeah I think three weeks is a very good time yeah and you will enjoy a lot mm -hmm. and I'll miss you when you're gone likewise don't likewise, forget about yeah. my key from the house once it's done <laughs> no problem <laughs> don't worry <laughs> so thank you very much for watching guys if you made it this far why don't you subscribe to the channel and we'll be getting more and more stories like this. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.